guys. Happy Saturday. Just steamed this shirt. Because why not? Feeling fresh. <laughs> and this happened last night in my... Here, let me unplug the steamer before I set the house on fire. Yeah, I moved my dresser to that back wall. I need to get that tripod out of out of the way. I detest this tripod. It was like highly rated. I mean, not that you guys probably really care about tripods, but it was highly rated on Amazon and it's too high tech. Like it's too complicated. It's, it's a battle. It's like, yeah, I can't figure out ever how to, it's too particular and too fussy. It was really expensive. Definitely an impulse purchase that I regret because I, whenever I use it, I get really frustrated with it. So I don't end up using it. Um, but yeah, you know, cardboard boxes work so much better. <laughs> and I moved little homie over here. I have this, uh, Ikea dollhouse that I assembled with my Madame Alexander dolls and this doll that I got at Uncommon Objects, whose name is Lucy. She's a antique composition doll, but anyways. Yeah, I thought he looked cute up there. I'm um, kind of floating, floating in the, uh, forest. My peel and stick wallpaper. <laughs> Anyways, impromptu, uh, impromptu closet intro. I'm gonna go get my coffee. But before I do that, that purring you hear in the background is my new Vornado. I got this uh, my, on my last trip to Costco. It was a bit of an impulse purchase, but unlike that, unlike that horrible tripod, this I'm loving. And I got it because when I run on the treadmill on here, it gets a little, I get a little warm, uh, a little warmer than I would like. And there's just not, the circulation is not ideal. But this has really helped because there's a vent in my closet where the air conditioning comes out as well as one in my bedroom. But it helps circulate the air conditioning out of the closet. I mean, why would you, I mean, I guess it makes sense to have an air conditioning vent in the closet. But yeah, it seems like my closet gets all the love when it comes to my air conditioning and heating bill. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, this is helping and it's pretty quiet. I have it on, I think the medium setting. That's the low. The high setting's pretty loud. Brrr. Oh, before I go get my coffee, let's do this. I've been waiting to do that since I got it. <laughs> I used to do that when I was a child all the time. Sing in front of the in front of a fan so right now it's kind of dark having my coffee and I'm gonna finish some notes from some telehealth visits that I did this week that I need to wrap up but uh, I'm just watching I love this youtuber um Hillary her channel used to be called my uh, I want to say my so-called home my so-called home yeah and now it's old world home. I just love her. And in April, she's vlogging every day. If you like vlogs, she's a great channel. Uh, my old world home. I'll link it down below for you guys. She has a very relaxing personality and her house um, is beautiful. She's really done a good job. She has really good, she has a really good eye for bargains at yard sales and stuff. I always enjoy her. I'm trying to limit my coffee to once a day. And the little Four Siggy instant coffees, they really help cut down on the amount of caffeine I crave for some reason. And yeah, they're just like more satisfying. And they, the instant ones actually have less caffeine than a regular cup of coffee. I don't know. Something about the cup of coffee, it's the depth of the flavor that, it's like if you have a coffee that's shoddy or not very good, I feel like you could just drink more and more of it because you're trying to satisfy that, that desire for coffee. And that's how you end up overdoing it with the caffeine. But I think a really bold and flavorful coffee, you just need one cup. But I got this coffee for my trade subscription, Irving Farm uh, 
from New York. And it's pretty good. It's a nice light, uh, kind of a light roast. I don't get the taste of milk chocolate in there, but I do note hints of pecan. It's pretty good. I loved that dank one though. I'm sad that's over. So I decided that I need to glam myself up a little bit because I'm looking a little bit like um, the dude, which is okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of the dude, I mean, there the actor in the dude, Steve Buscemi, it's not the dude, uh, you, you know what movie I'm talking about, Steve Buscemi. There's a movie that I recently rewatched with my mom before all of this six degrees of separation went down that I love and I think it I can't remember if it was on Amazon Prime or Netflix but it's one that I watched in the past it's like one of my favorite movies it's Ghost Ghost World I 10 out of 10 recommend it it's uh got Scarlett Johansson and I can't remember that chick's name she has a interesting name but yeah it's really good um I enjoyed that movie so yeah, I'm just putting on some earrings. And I think I'll wear one of my Alex and Ani bracelets too. I always feel a little bit more presentable when I have a little bangle on. I've been loving this jewelry box though that I got on the Amazonian. It was really inexpensive and it's just been perfect. And it looks nice. This is what I store my headbands in though. I got this at a um, flea market. Not a flea market, it's called a called market days they have them here in different towns throughout texas my mom and i went to a market days and i got this and i've had it for the longest time and it was sort of an impulse purchase that i knew i wanted but never could really figure out what to use it for and i've tried putting different things in here but so far putting my hair bands in has worked out well yeah i just get these hair bands from hair bands from hope or i bought these that have little bees on them from Amazon. But yeah, I like headbands from Hope because every headband you purchase, they donate one to a child with cancer. And right now they're doing a lot to donate um, PPE and whatnot. So yeah, it's a really good cause that I like to support. But yeah, somebody told me that these were like a Gucci. They thought these were from Gucci. No, <laughs> I didn't know that. But they're definitely, I guess they're a knockoff, which I didn't know when I got them. I just thought they were cute with the bees, but. Speaking of trendy stuff, tie-dye is having a moment right now and I, um, I'm kicking myself because I had this amazing tie-dye shirt when I was a child that I should have kept. It would have been perfect for its, its uh, re-emergence, but I predict, you guys, I'm hoping, I'm probably wrong on this, I predict so since tie-dye is, ha is having a moment right now, the next trend, puff paint. I almost bought some puff paint on Amazon. Puff paint I loved as a child, although I would get really, really frustrated because I didn't have the patience for it and I ended up messing up my design prematurely. You have to be really patient with puff paint. It's not forgiving at all. I think that's why it's fail it failed as a craft after it was a popular like in the 80s. Um, but yeah, I predict puff paint's gonna have a moment. Maybe just like a subtle little embellishment on things like around the collar of a white t-shirt I predict that probably gonna be wrong but <laughs> for now next thing you know um, people will be puff painting like $300 sunglasses or something like that and they'll be going for millions get your puff paint now though before before it becomes the next toilet paper 
It's turning out to be a nice day out there. Um, I don't know if I'll, I probably end up running indoors though. The area where I run has just gotten a little bit too crowded as of lately. Um, so I, I actually am sticking to running indoors, which is unfortunate because I was really enjoying that. But anyways, um, I think I'm gonna make myself a little brunchy brunch right now because I haven't eaten anything and I've been doing a lot. I need to, I need to rein that in before, before it gets out of control and I get hangry. I think I'm gonna make oatmeal. I haven't, I made oatmeal a few weeks ago, but um, I'm gonna make it more creamy. There are two ways you can make oatmeal. If you like your oatmeal kind of chewy and al dente, boil the water first and then add the oats. But if you like it creamy and kind of more creamy and mushy, put the water and the oatmeal and then bring the water to a boil. It will make the oats come out really creamy. I'll show you, that's how I'm gonna make it now. All right, so I just do two cups of cold water and a cup of rolled oats. Oops, <laughs> making a mess. Big surprise. I got these canisters a long time ago, I think from Kroger. They're um, progressive, but they're intended to be used for brown sugar because they have the little terracotta drying disc in there. But they work really good, really well for holding uh, whole rolled oats. So yeah, I do a cup of whole rolled oats and then I also add, I just ran out of my Biggie Costco cinnamon. I bought, I'm gonna buy another one the next time I go, but I have this Frontier Co-op cinnamon, so I'm just gonna put a generous <laughs> dumping of that in as per usual, you guys know I'm heavy handed with the cinnamon. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. That's the key. And I'll show you guys what it looks like once it comes to a boil. And while that comes to a boil, I'm just gonna peel. I have these two little cuties here that need to be consumed before, they, before they're not so cute. I like to put these on top of anything, really. They're so good. Well, come into a boil. Forgot to take it out of the dishwasher. That's why. Yeah, just give it a little swizzle. But see how creamy it's getting, and it cooks pretty quickly. I went ahead and reduced the heat, but. I wish I had a gas stove top. They reduce, the heat reduces so much faster on those. Bubbly. So I just poured my oatmeal into a bowl and I'm gonna sweeten it with a third of a frozen banana and that's gonna cool it down to room temperature. And I'm also gonna sweeten it with a tablespoon of the PB2 powdered peanut butter. Yeah, that's how I sweeten it and then I'm gonna to top it with my little orange slices there. Ta-da, it's my oatmeal. Looks good. I, yeah, I just put the clementines on top and then I drizzled it with some tahini. I didn't show that, I don't think. Um, but yeah, and I got this cute little spoon on uh, Yes Style a while ago. I think it's for condiments. But these bowls are by the company Our Place. It's the same company that makes that pan that I use, um, my cook pan, the nonstick pan. I highly recommend. They're very good. And th this is like the perfect oatmeal bowl or like side dish bowl. They're very useful and they stack too. I have a set of four in total. They stack together. Have you guys come up with any fun quarantine foods or recipes? Now that you're probably cooking more at home. I've been really into oatmeal the past three or four months ever since I started making those oat bars and then it just 
transitioned into oatmeal. I also like to make savory oats for dinner sometimes. Like I'll put peas in for protein or lentils and I'll put in turmeric and sometimes coconut. Just make any kind of savory dish you want. I prefer oats to rice, mostly because growing up we ate a lot of white rice and I burnt out on it. So I'm, I'm not a fan of white rice. I do like black rice and wild rice, brown rice, but it's not my favorite, it's not my preference. And quinoa is okay. I want to try making um, barley sometime. I'm going to watch some YouTube now. <laughs> Who are you guys enjoying watching? I mentioned I like uh, Chamberlain paintings a lot and I like um, my so-called, I want to keep calling her my so-called home, that was her old channel's name, Old World Home. Oh, and of course the Sacconi Jolie is that's who I have to catch up on. I watch them every day. I've watched them for so long. It's crazy. Canada Anytime one of their accessories mission is to improve the world of fluid dynamics with innovative and reliable Any... measurement solutions. Aggressive ads on YouTube. Anytime one of their children has a birthday, it's like no way. Our, when I started watching the Sacconi Jolies, they had no children. Or, I don't. I think when I started watching them, Anna was pregnant with Amelia. So I've been watching them since they lived in Cork, um, and it's just crazy now. Like Eduardo just turned six. I can't believe I've been watching YouTube for that long. Craziness. They were one of the first channels that I watched. Them and the other channel that I still watch. She's renamed her channel several times. Used to be called. My Housewife Life, and now it's called Pretty Neat Living, but it's Jen. I love Jen. I've watched her for a long time. I loved her Disney vlogs. I never grew up, when I was growing up, we didn't go to Disney World, like that wasn't like something that we did. I, I just like wasn't, I don't know, the Disney experience is not something that I ever really had, or like I don't have fond memories of it, so I don't have that. You know, I mean, I, I think we went once, but anyways, it's just fun seeing how much she gets into going. And when she was doing the half marathons in Disney, I loved those vlogs. And I really wanted to run the Disney half marathon. And I should actually, but I always would miss the deadline for signing up for it. But I should do that. I think that would be a lot of fun to vlog. I love Florida, so I, that would be a fun trip. But obviously now, you know, with everything going on, that's not going to happen. But. The first year of my channel though, the AAD meeting that I go to every year, except this year because it was canceled, was in Orlando. And as part of the meeting, you got to go to Disney World. That like they had discounted tickets. You could go out like in the evening. And that was a lot of fun to vlog that um, for you guys. Funny story, you guys. Yesterday I was taking out a load of laundry from my dryer and one of my dryer balls popped out and landed on my foot and freaked me out. I thought it was, I thought it was a roach. <laughs> I just was like, ah! <laughs> just like that. So you guys, I got a new charger for my camera batteries. This was something I was complaining about recently about how the charger that I use doesn't ever seem to fit right into any electric socket. But this is much better because it just goes into a USB. Um, so that's that's helping our our relationship, you you and I. Well, hey guys, it's a few hours later since we last left off, and I decided to put on an outfit and take a photograph for my Instagram. I'm wearing uh, my coolie bar hat here. It looks massive. Yeah, I just got this little jumpsuit a while ago on um, Poshmark, and I haven't had anywhere to wear it to, so I figured I would just put it on for the heck of it, and this giant sombrero that I have. <laughs> 
It's my coolie bar hat. Gives really good protection. But yeah, it's nice out. I um I thought it'd be good to get a little fresh air there. That's better, you can see my face. And it's kind of perfect lighting, it's sort of overcast, so we don't have the glaring sun. So yeah. <laughs> It looks really massive on my head in comparison to just um, But yeah, this this hat's awesome actually. It's by Cooley Bar and I've had it for a long time I don't wear it that often because it's So big that it's hard to get around with but it's perfect if you I mean Obviously not now given the current situation, but it's perfect if you have an event that you're going to that's outdoors where you want to like a wedding or something, I don't know. It kinda has that derby look. Yeah, I've, I've been happy with it. And it's also really nice because you can, you can adjust the, the head circumference with a little drawstring, which I probably should do. Keep it on a little tighter, but there's no wind right now, so we're good. No risk of it flying off my head. I look like, I kinda look like a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's so, it's really nice out. Like, I love this kind of weather where there's just a slight little breeze, there's no humidity. See, in a few months, I would be covered in, in a few months, I'll be covered with moisture. But uh, yeah, the mosquitoes are, are gonna join us in a moment. Yeah, I, um, it gets so humid here, you guys. You can go outside with a bar of soap and lather up. I'm not even joking, it's it's super humid. I kinda like it though. Uh, but right now it's perfect. Actually, I think it's gonna rain, so I'm gonna head back inside. So I'm back inside. I changed back into my indoor clothes and I wanted to show you guys one quick thing. So sometimes I get questions from you guys about what shoes I run in and I run in Asics, but I bought these Asics on Amazon recently because of my treadmill. I wanted to get a pair of running shoes just for the treadmill. That way I could keep them inside. Like I hate shoe, the idea of shoes in the house, tracking stuff in, but these I've only ever worn here on the treadmill. So they're treadmill specific shoes, but I've never had this particular model of Asics. I can't quite recall what they are called. But they're pretty comfy. They're a lot more lightweight than Asics typically are. But yeah, I like running in Asics. Uh, that's what I've always run in. Hello. It is much later and I'm about to go to sleep. Got my fan judging over there. Oh, you guys. I put uh, Willa over there. Ignore my studio lights in here. I gotta figure out a place to put this. But yeah, that's one of those little um, command hook shelves. When I put her on there, she uh, she seems happy there. I think I'm gonna need to get her a new outfit. Her and Margot quarantine quarantine outfit. I don't know why I'm so tired. What did I do today? I can't even remember. Worked out. Tidied up. Adulthood is just a series of doing the same thing over and over again, and then. Wondering where the time went, lamenting it. <laughs> but I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.